You guys, I gotta say, I really thought I was gonna hate the desert and I always wondered why people live out in the desert because it just seems kind of like boring when you haven't been here. But honestly, this hike in the middle of August and it's like scorching heat, which I love. This is so beautiful. Like I literally, I can't. It's so pretty. I like don't want to leave Utah now. <laughs> it's so nice. I actually just am in love. Like it's so pretty. It's got to be like a hundred degrees out here, but it like it's different than Florida because in Florida the humidity makes it feel like you like can't breathe, like you're drowning. And I've just been hiking, so I'm kind of like out of breath because <laughs> I I keep up a good pace. But um, but yeah, no, it's just like there's a breeze. It's just so pretty. I just love it. you guys I'm lost <laughs> I haven't seen anybody in maybe like 10 minutes so I don't know which way to go <laughs> so I've just been walking straight but now there's like a cannon dividing me in another portion and I just don't know where to go <laughs> and I'm on the top of things <sighs> me luck. I'm just gonna keep walking and hopefully I see a delicate arch somewhere. <laughs> I'm like out of breath because it's like literally straight up like up a mountain. A stone mountain and it's so hot. <laughs> okay all right wish me luck. Alright guys, well, <laughs> I went the wrong way <laughs> and as you can see, there I'm so high up right now <laughs> and there's just like this huge canyon in between me and where I'm wanting to go <laughs> and I'm so afraid of heights, <laughs> like this is so scary, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Well guys, I'm definitely going the wrong way. <laughs> I just found the trail and I was way off. Good thing I didn't try to make it to, to, to the delicate arc the way I was going because I probably would have died. <laughs> but if you're afraid of heights like I was, I guess, you can overcome your fear with this hike because it's really hard. <laughs> okay it's really scary but if you're really afraid of heights like I really am afraid of heights but I think I'm not anymore because I went on this hike especially because I went the wrong way on this hike and that led me to be very high up but if you can't handle that don't come on this hike because it's high up it's very high up like it's really scary <laughs> So yeah, okay, hopefully I can make it there <laughs> without passing out first. <laughs> I ran out of water like halfway up here, so yeah, bring a lot of water. I don't know how to get to the trail. All right, I'm gonna try and figure that out, <laughs> bye. Okay guys, I just came from there. I have no idea how I got so far off the trail. Like I was on the opposite side of the trail. I must have taken a wrong turn a long time ago and just stuck with it because holy crap oh my gosh that was so scary going off the trail here is pretty frightening because like 
<laughs> you are really high up. <laughs> okay, following the footprints. <laughs> That's the thing, I didn't see any footprints to follow. It's like all these people came and then just vanished and then <laughs> I didn't know where to go. <laughs> okay. All right, almost there now, I think. <laughs> guys after doing something that crazy and that high up like looking at this like I'm pretty high up right now and that is not scary I feel like I just overcame my fear of heights <laughs> hopefully <laughs> so I just finished that <laughs> um, it's so hot and I don't know if you can hear my voice but I ran out of water I'm um, like the very first like 10 minutes of that hike mind you it took me five hours maybe was i hiking for four hours right now oh my gosh really wait i, I got here at 10 oh my gosh i probably got to the trail at 10 30 so from 10 30 and it's 3 30 oh no it's 2 30 my time my clock is wrong so at 10 30 to 2 30 i've just been hiking right now which is i can't even do math i'm like heat exhausted 10 11 12 1 2 okay four hours four hours of hiking all right you can see where my head is right now oh my goodness it's just so hot outside it's 101 degrees that's what my car says so it, you know it, it feels hotter than that and bring enough water if you're gonna do that hike bring enough water because the whole way back I was like almost running back to my car to get water because I was so thirsty so I'm like exhausted right now like my whole body is just dripping and so <laughs> but I will say on the way up I was really scared and um, terrified of how high I was climbing and I just kept going higher and higher and higher. And then once you get there, it's like, okay, you walked all this way, you know, probably like two hours to get here. And you're like, are you gonna go on it or not? Um, so basically I was like, I'm gonna go on, like I walked all the way here, I'm gonna do it. My mind is afraid, but I don't want to be afraid. So I just did it. I just hopped, hopped over there, got some cool pictures. I overcame my fear. I can't believe it. I'm so hot right now. I mean, literally sweat is just dripping into my eyeballs. It's crazy. Like I'm blind right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, um, yeah. So now I'm headed to Devil's Garden and I'm just gonna relax, maybe hitch a 10. I don't know, I just kind of want to scope it out and see what kind of campsite it is. And thankfully I have like so much water in my car and so much other drinks. So I'm set, I'm fine, I've got food 
gas. So I'm kind of just ready to camp if it looks okay. But I'll probably stay in my car for a little bit and get my body temperature down just because I've been in the heat for so long today that I probably just need to be in air conditioning before I try to like just sit outside <laughs> even in shade. So yeah, I will get there and let you know what's going on. like it's fine to me um so that's super cool i can't believe it i did not expect to overcome my fear of heights in the desert of all places um but i'm definitely glad that i did that hike and saw the delicate arch i'm about to hike a little bit more and then i'll probably head out of here i have to make it to salt lake city oh my ears popped I have to make it to Salt Lake City to work the Lantern Lights Festival there, so that is this Saturday and it's Tuesday today, so I'm kind of just going to start heading that way and just see what else there is on the way in between here and Salt Lake City. So yeah. I wish I could go south to Grand Canyon and all that, but my plan is to go up to Wyoming. So I don't want to drive all the way south just to go back up. So hopefully I can book it back to the Grand Canyon before winter, if not after winter. So we'll see. Um, but I definitely want to get to Wyoming before winter and Washington before winter. So yay! So exciting! I love the desert. I love it so much. It's so nice. So it's pretty exciting. 
So yeah, uh, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Throw pain or just strip